Okay. Green lighted, right? Yeah. Okay. It's time to not finish this, but get pretty much the majority of it of it of what needs to be done done. So what we're going to be doing here is probably adding effects and adding effects and maybe some spacing. I don't know. It all depends on how this goes. Hello Skyburns. So what we're doing is we're going to be adding like effects like reverb and oh I need to actually replace this. Uh, we're going to be acting of at bleh, adding effects like reverb and all that stuff to give it kind of a more realistic approach. But what I need to do first, now that, because I've added the EQ and, uh, excuse me, uh, noise gate, and basically now all we gotta do is just get the clean file and do it. All right, so I need to go here, I need to go like this, bingo. So wait for that to load. You can't see the loading thing because it's behind my face. Hello, Dawn. So, this will be pretty interesting. We might do some spacing, or I might save that for when we add, uh, like, sound effects and all that lovely stuff. That's always the last step. Which is the hard part, in my opinion. Oh, wow, that really brought it down in volume. How loud is that? And there. With oh, shit. Uh... So Oh, I know what's going on. I know what's happening. It's because I still got those effects enabled, so I need to take those off. Boom. 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 Yeah, I was wondering, why is my voice so bassy? <laughs> okay, let's see what this sounds like now. A mare with fur as white as snow, and a mane as red as blood. A smile soft and sweet as a rose, and the scent of sandalwood. A mocking laugh echoes behind. Shadows where once she stood. Okay. Alright, so that's good. Uh, how am I doing? I'm good. I just got... Because there was something wrong with my phone, so I had to go into price, it, well into uh, town today. Uh, we went in and did, did a lot of crap. <laughs> but it took like five minutes to do the fix. And it turned out the answer was my roof. That's the reason why it was stuck on emergency calling only. So, yeah. So I feel like we're going to have two different kind of reverb settings here. One for the poetry and one for like when we get to the spooky parts. Okay, yeah, I can just do that from the beginning. So let's go ahead and make this unique as a sample. Yep. Go to here. No, not there. I need to go here first. Go to here, put this on two, and then we need to go here, maybe. All right, then let's see, we need reverb. Might do some reverb and delay. Depends on how this plays out. Okay, let's just go with the regular, see if this might do the trick. A mare with fur as white as snow, and a mane as red as blood. A smile soft and sweet as a rose, and the scent of sandalwood. A mocking laugh echoes behind, shadows where once she stood. Okay. I think I'm going to try and add a delay, but delay I'm not ever... I never really remember how to do the delays. I do remember the name of the preset. Brighter echoes. I don't think that's it. Classic ping pong. There it is. Um, um, oh, I need to uh, first turn that down a lot. A mare with fur as white as snow, and a mane as red as blood. A smile soft and sweet as a rose, and this. Okay, hang on. So we need to fix this a little bit. Let's see. I just want normal. I don't want ping pong. I said normal. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the time. Yeah, that needs to go down. Hello? Oh, there it goes. A mare 
with fur as white as snow, and a mane as red as blood, a smile soft and sweet as a rose, and the scent of sandalwood. A mocking laugh echoes behind, shadows where once she stood. In a forest twisted by eight. Okay. Let's see, that might be a little too quick. Let's go 2.5. Oh, it only goes that far, huh? Okay, 2.3. A mare with fur as white as snow, and a mane as red as blood. A smile soft and sweet as a rose, and the scent of sandalwood. A mocking laugh echoes behind, shadows where once she stood. In a forest twisted by age and by time, a small cottage stood alone against the endless creeping tide of nature. The bread. Okay, that's just gonna have to do. That seems okay for me. Um. Okay, what else do I need here? Oh, I wanted to test something. I need to go like this. This is just a test, just to see what this will sound like. Yeah, I can do that. Just had to think of how the story played out. Um, what's the name of that track? Downloads. I'm sure it's in here. It's gotta be. Long Note 3. Videos on me there. It'd be in my USB drive, wouldn't it? Nope. Really? Just work with me, please. Maybe Abyss would work. Let's see if this works. <sighs> okay, hang on. Maybe. If it'll let me. Okay, we need to turn that down. Down we go. A mare with fur as white as snow, and a mane as red as blood. A smile soft and sweet as a rose, and the scent of sandalwood. A mocking laugh echoes behind, shadows where once she stood. In a forest twisted by age and by time, a small cottage stood alone against the endless creeping tide of nature. The branches lengthened, the leaves bloomed and fell. And spring and autumn came and went, like hands ticking around on a clock. That seems fine. That seems fine. Okay, so that is the poetry setting. Okay, we can just keep that as a side. Are you going to react to the G5 movie and series? I have already reacted to the G5 movie. Which one? Are you talking about the first one that came out last year, or the one that came out this year? The little short. Well, it's not short, but it's, it's about an hour long. If so, I've reacted to both with friends. <clears throat> okay, so I need to just find where dialogue is. So, phone, I need you. Let's see. I don't think there's any dialogue in the first run. Is there? Nope, it's just an intro. Okay, I'm going out. Okay, we can see where that is. That's pretty easy. We won't know exactly how this all plays out until we add the stuff later on. I'm going out, Mama. That would have a little bit of a reverb to it, I would imagine. How loud is that? I'm going out, Mama. It's a little loud, but that's not that bad. It'd have just a mini, mini little one. Not that big. I 
unique is a simple. That's unfortunate, Don. We're all M what? Where are where are MLP fanfic books you can buy? Well, I can put I have them on my I have the majority of where did it all start? I think it started at a mayor's needs, if I'm not mistaken. On my band camp, I have from there forward all of my works, I believe. They are free to download. Like the ones I've done for other offers, they are free to download. But it does have a it does have a choice where you can set a price if you want to. That's up to you. Other than that, they are free to download. Okay, yes. So I need a mild. Oh, I need to set it to the truck first. So that would be on. Fuck are you? There you are. Four. Go here. Okay. Just a mild reverb. So we need to turn her down quite a lot. I'm going out, Mama. Way too much. Okay, we need a different preset than that. No. Is that it? I'm going out, Mama. Hmm. Turn on the severity a little bit. I'm going out, Mama. Lily shrugged her cloak on, its red folds draping over her flanks to brush... I'm going out, Mama. Lily shrugged her cloak on... Okay. So, not only does that need to probably be stretched out a little bit, but we'll be okay. Oh, there's already a way to do it off the cut. Okay, just push that out. I'm going out, Mama. Lily shrugged her cloak on. Not that much. Taping over her flanks to bring out, Mama. Lily shrugged her cloak on. That'll do it. Okay, going out, Mama. Are you sure you don't want to come, Daisy? That's not a big one. No, I'll be fine. I'll be nicer with you both. Da, 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 da. Where's the next one? Okay. Alright, so next effect is the next poetry. So, right here. Lily followed the well-worn path. Oh, no. Is this the next section? In the forest deep within, blood-red petals open wide. Okay, yep, this is where the next poetry section is. So let's do this. Uh, make your mark and tell your tale. Make your mark. I'm trying to think of which one it is. Tell your tell, I don't think I've watched because I didn't think I'd be interested in it. But I don't know. Uh, I have seen Make Your Mark, though, already. Again, reacted to it with friends. Uh, Making it so simple. And that is on, I believe, two. Yes, it is. Not three. In the forest deep within, blood red petals open wide. Three stalks, three flowers, one with something left inside. It emerges, it is wrong, blood is slick and green eyed. Lily followed the well worn path that led from the cottage garden into the forest. The clearing in which the cottage stood came to a came to a ground. We'll just leave it like that. Okay, where are we going here? Uh, no dialogue. Wow. Okay, nothing there. Next poetry line. Man, this might be shorter than I thought. What is this? Why did you? <gasps> oh, excuse me. A creature stalks the maiden's steps. Safe, just out of sight. Okay, here we go again. So all this on two. Boom. Boom. 
do this, this, yes. But I've spoken too soon. I know there's more dialogue coming up pretty soon. A creature stalks the maiden's steps, safe just out of sight. Death spreads in its wake, a black and dreadful blight. A smile plays on its lips. Will she put up a fight? Lily looked up. I need to get rid of that. Uh, boink, boink, boink. Oops, wrong place. Get that out of there. Okay, that's more of a sound effect. Okay, that's nothing to worry about. Alright, let's see here. Nothing. Whimpered, so that's low. Sister, sister, come at last. I hope I did this one. Yes, I did. Okay, so the next next one is right here. Hopefully. Sister, sister. Yep. All right, let's go like this. Oh wait. Not that might be in our different EQ or not EQ uh, reverberation, so I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, no, I gotta change it first. So, can I please make an exit sample? Boom. Put that on two. Sister, sister, come at last. Come to find the one off cast. Come to feast the grand repast. Daisy. Okay, so this is going to have a bit of a different kind of reverb. It's going to have a delay on it as well. So when are you going to post this video's story video? I don't know yet. It's too early to decipher. <clears throat> Let's see here. Make unique to the sample. Boom. Okay, so now we need to set that to a totally new track. So that would be five. Let's see here. So we want reverb. I don't know what kind of reverb yet. Probably a heavy one, if I'm being honest. Sister, sister. No. I need to be in the right spot. Okay, let's move that out of the way. Daisy. Okay, here we go. Okay, maybe a little more powerful than that. Whisper was too soft to wake her the first time. That's good. Daisy was dreaming of carrot cake and cake and hayseed loaves. Of her sister's eager smile as she bit into a new culinary delight. Daisy. Daisy. Okay. Let's go like this. We're going to be running this one for quite a minute, so it should be okay. So that's on five, right? Yes. Daisy. The whisper was too soft to wake up. Oops. Wrong spot. Let's see how far this goes. that out just a little bit we just want to leave some room for stuff shall go to that point uh, Nelly okay there we go Daisy it was louder now almost normal speaking volume but her sister was nowhere in sight okay Lily 
Where are you? Okay. So I gotta go. Let's see. Let's see if this does the trick. Boom. louder now. Hmm. Oops. Come on, you sucker. Just a little out, just a little out. Uh, Lily? Daisy? It was louder now. Almost normal. Lily? Daisy. Hmm. It was louder now. Almost normal speaking volume. That's a decent. That's a decent room. I'll. I'll keep that. Okay. That's not important. Let's see here. Lily, where are you? I'm outside, Daisy. Come outside. I'm outside, Daisy. Come outside. And the thing that sucks is I can't listen to anything in the background because I have to hear ah, the joys of being a narrator. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I love my job, but I hate the editing process. I'm outside, Daisy. Come outside. The whisper seems to come from every direction at once. And Daisy's ears went flat to her skull. Come outside. Oh, that's good. Uh, let's see. I have to show you something. Uh, why can't you come here? Oops. I have to show you something. The whispers were growing louder now. Excited. You have to meet me. Uh-huh. Okay, push this out. So we have some room to work with. Boom. Takes a sample. Like, this is literally this process. It's just a lot of copy paste kind of stuff. And you have to do it one at a time. Okay, let's see if this does the trick. I have to show you something. The whispers were growing louder now. Excited. You have to meet me. <sighs> meet you. Okay, stop for a minute. We're gonna have to do some spacing here. It's a sample. Boom. Uh, here. Yep. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Here, here. Excited. You have to meet me. <sighs> meet you. Meet her. You have to meet her. I have to show you. Come outside, Daisy. There we go. All right. Let's do this. It's amazing how reverb just makes your voice even... It's amazing how reverb just makes your voice creepier. Just by adding a little bit of echo, it gives it, re it, gives it like a creepy effect. But what? But if you've been watching horror movies for as long as I have, yeah, you learn this shit. Excited. You have to meet me. <sighs> meet you. Meet her. You have to meet her. I have to show you. Come outside, Daisy. 
uneasily. Daisy put on her slip, put on her slippers, and shoved me. Daisy? Uneasily, Daisy put on her slippers and shuffled to the bedroom door. She could find a candle, but it would take a while. Okay. It really sounded strange. Perhaps it was urgent. Hastening down the stairs, she paused to put... Nelly, are you... Are you there? The answer was immediate. I'm here, sister. Okay, right there. Probably gonna have to push that out just a little bit, but it's okay. Okay, this whole thing. Come outside. I want you to see. Okay. Daisy, open. Bingo. Let's do this again. Oh, man. One, two, three, four, five. Come outside. The answer was immediate. I'm here, sister. Come outside. I want you to see. Daisy opened the door and stepped outside. Just a little more the space. Moon, the moon was waning, and I want you to see. Daisy opened the door and stepped outside. The moon was waning, and only a thin silver... Okay, stop. Even at midnight. Here they were, no houses for miles around. Just endless forest, dark and foreboding. Hmm. This was why Daisy liked it inside. Stop for a minute. Okay, where am I going here? She stood beneath the... Da -da 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 -da. Lily. Um, let's see, I know, I'm then not sure if I can see that. that. was why Daisy liked it inside. Oh, wow, we're way back past this. There it is. Lily? Shivering in her silvery cloak. Lily? Sister, come this way. Sister, sister, okay, sister come this way, there it is. <clears throat> okay, is that it? Sister comes this way, sister comes see. Why does this remind me a lot of like the raven or something like that? Because it kind of does, with the nevermore thing. Make it make a sample, boom. Go by five. Shivering in her silvery cloak. Lily? Sister, come this way. This is so Lily's creepy. voice called from the garden. Sister, come see. Wait, what? Lily, you're scared. Lily's voice. Lil okay, I didn't fuck up. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, this is it? Sister, come see. Lily, you're scaring me. Right there, bingo. Okay. Next. Boom. Sister, come see. Lily, you're scaring me. Daisy said, a note of plea. Lily's voice called from the garden. Sister, come see. Lily, you're scaring me. Daisy said, a note of pleading entering her voice. But she stepped away from the cottage and towards the vegetable patch. Idiot. Sister, sister. Came the call again. Right now there. From in front of her. Oh shit. <laughs> this is where shit gets stop. Uh make a sample. Boom. Uh that'd be here. One, two, three, four, five. 
two, three, four, five. We're gonna have to push this out a little bit. Sister, sister. Came the call again. Now from in front of her. Now from behind. And Daisy twisted and turned on the spot, trying to find her twin. Lily, stop it! What was that? Sister, think to find her twin. Lily, stop it! That's gotta go. That's a problem. Just wanna get these things out of here before I even... Just so I don't even have to worry about them. There's a few in the original narration, but that's okay for now. Lily, stop it! Sister, sit to find her twin. Lily, stop it! There we go. <sighs> okay, Lily, stop it. What is this? The cries grew loud. Oh, wait, what is Exalt. this? Sister, sister! There we go. More demonic look sounding shit, I guess. <laughs> Oh, God. Make unique. Boom. One, two, three, four, five. Sister. Sister. How loud is that? How high does that go? Sister. I need to go to the mixer for that. Sister. Oh, that ain't that bad. That's not that bad. It's not hurting my ears. Sister! The cries grew loud. Exultant. Okay. And then, something stepped forward. Into <gasps> the dim light of the fading moon. Exultant. And then something stepped forward into the dim light of the fading moon. Oh boy, here's the spooky part. Uh, whoa, what the fuck? Acting purely on instinct, she whirled in place and burst. Da Daisy's courage filled her. Act. Wow, that has to be way closer. Don't worry, I'll get to the the chat in just a second. Daisy's courage filled her. Acting purely on instinct, she whirled in place and burst into a gallop. The urge to flee was irresistible. It was hardwired. Okay. okay. All right. Well, so when are you moving? Well, I can't wait to see all your hard work on this. Thank you. Do you know any fanfic where they leave Equestria? I mean, like some New World shiz. Uh, not really. Hello, Emmanuel. Jesus Christ. Are you going to do any G5 horror stories in the future? I've got one right now in the works. It's just a matter of getting the visuals. Like, the visuals are the only thing that are missing right now. They are taking a while, but it's for good reason. Because they take a long while to actually, you know, get done. So, it'll be a while. But trust me, it'll be worth it when it gets here. The urge to flee was irresistible. Okay, where am I? Silly Daisy. Da, 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 da. Okay. Is that it right there? Silly Daisy. There it is. Make sure that's right one first. Sharp points biting into her flesh. And she knew that she had been wrong. Yep, that's it. Silly Daisy. Yep, that's her. That's her, yes sir. Uh, I don't know if I want reverb on this though. This'll be interesting. Oops. I need the not cut tool. Here we go. Oh. <clears throat> Let's see here. Boom. There's gonna be a lot of dialogue coming up here pretty damn quickly. 
sharp points biting into her flesh, and she knew that she had been wrong. What your suitcases are to Silly Daisy, said Lily in a sing. Okay, this is interesting. Silly Daisy. It don't hurt to put it there. Honestly, it don't. It doesn't hurt it. Silly Daisy. Said Lily in a sing-song voice. But now, a second voice had joined hers, and two sets of hoof steps were approaching. Silly little lazy Daisy. Trying to run away from us. Daisy flattened. Trust me, that's not an easy effect. If you were here last night, matching that up is not easy. It takes a lot of focus. You have to really pay attention to the wavelengths and just match it up. Uh, let's see here. Boom. So let's go five. Oops. Approaching. Silly little lazy Daisy, trying to run away from us. Daisy flattened herself to the ground, her breaths coming, coming too rapid and too shallow, trying to pretend that this wasn't happening. Okay. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm baking bread, and it's all okay, and soon Lily and Mama will be home to have dinner with me, and it'll all be like it used to be. Two muzzles. Okay. So this is in her mind, so this is just a simple little reverb. So this may have to be a different one. Because the other one's a little too strong. Bring this back. Maybe push this forward just a teensy little bit. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Will the one just work? Oops, wrong button. Will the other one just work? That would that would be a lot, lot more easier. Approaching. Silly little lazy daisy. I Trying thought I fixed that. I thought I fixed that. Uh wait, what? Oh, oops. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm baking bread, and it's all okay, and soon Lily and Mama will be home to have dinner with me, and it'll all be like it used to be. That fits pretty well. I don't think that's that bad. It's okay. Like it used to be. Two muzzles lowered themselves to either side of her, and two scorching hot breaths hissed into her ears, speaking in perfect unison. You should never run away from your sisters, Daisy. Okay, and then that cuts off. Alright. See, it's all just about careful, fo careful focus and patience. But if you're just starting out, you're nowhere near this level yet. You don't want to put this much work into something unless you know it's going to do well. Uh... What am I doing? Oh. It used to be. You should never run away from your sisters, Daisy. Okay. Now what? Slow, sorrowful steps. Okay, here's where things are going to get a little tricky. Okay, that's not going to have any on it. That's fine. Hissed. This will be tricky. <sighs> Giant flowers. Da, 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 da. I'm just checking for anything that is like thought lines or anything like that. Don't show your fear. Okay, that is a, something going on in the head. So that's a little bit ahead here. Whoa. How loud is that? Hungry and so lonely without my sisters. She advanced another step, and her skin rippled with tiny spikes for a moment. Okay. Like thorns were about to burst out through the fur. 
They weren't yours to take, old woman. Not uh, yours to take. There we go. Lily echoed, her voice low and hungry. They're my children. They are my children, said Sakura. Is this it? Summing the snarl then. Nope. It's right. I loved them then and always will. Okay, what? Rub. It's before that. Right here somewhere? Said Sakura, summing the stoic face of the shaman. Don't show your fear. Right there, bingo. Okay, that's a thought line, so we're just going to go ahead and put the same reverb on it. It's not that I'm lazy. I just know that it's easy work. It's it's hard work made easy, so there you go. Like This may not seem like hard work, but trust me, it is. It's far from the word easy. Okay. Boom. Said Sakura, summing the stoic face of the shaman. Don't show your fear. I loved them then and always will. Roslug snarled. Anami spat. An animal da, 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 da. Sound, ripping out of her throat like a curse. But I wonder. Your children. I want they to are have my family. Bloom, kept them trapped. Not yours. Freed her. I the found carrot. them as babies in the woods. Zakora answered simply. Okay, that's fine. I took them in, as anyone should. We are not ponies. But not me. Okay. I think I know where the next part is. It's right. I just gotta spot it. What is that? Read her. Freed her. Okay. Read her. Uh. I'll spot it when I see it. Okay, it's like right here somewhere. We are the flower ponies, and it's time for us to bloom. I added that effect today. Okay, there's the one line. Uh, ponies. Okay, hang on. Pleaded Sakura. Let me help them. Let me help you. We. Right there, bingo. We're just gonna give this a little something. All right, bingo. God, that rumbles in the ears. We're just gonna give it a little effect just to give it something. Oops, forgot. I need to make that as a sample first. Stupid me. <sighs> okay. Nice. Boom. Boom. Whispered Roseluck. Oh shit. Uh We are the children of the Okay. That was an oopsie poopsie. Let's try that again. Try that again and go like this. So that would be on twenty three part one. So that's going to be kind of wonky. There it is. Hopefully. We are the children of the Everfree. Whispered Roseluck through three mouths instead of one. That out. We are the flower ponies. Okay. Uh, let's see. We want this to go like this. Unique as a sample. Boom. Uh, there you are. One, two, three, four, five. We are the children of the Everfree. Whispered Roseluck through three mouths instead of one. We are the flower ponies, and it's time for us to bloom. And then all three of Okay. And then the last I think is the poetry. 
Yep. All right. So that's like the last section of lines here. I'm going to get that out because that doesn't need to be there. I don't think there needs to be this big of a pause too. So we're going to we're going to kind of bring that back a little bit. All right. Boom. Boom. Sure. Uh, let's go. Oops, that's not where I meant to go. That would be on two, not three, two. Oh my god, two! Thank you. And deep within the forest where no pony dare shifts, coppery red. And deep within the forest where no pony dares to go, adventurers will find a home. A little cottage with garden below, and through the broken roof, three great pink flowers grow. I feel like that needs to be cut up just a little bit. Like right here. A mare with fur. Stop. Okay, pull that out. Within the forest where no pony dares to go, adventurers will find a home, a little cottage with garden below, and through the broken roof, three great pink flowers grow. Boom. All right, I think that is good. I think we got everything. All right, so export this. Um, MP3 file. The, not that. The carnivorous flower. All effects. Effect added. Clean. Save. All right. So there's that little step. And the next one, sound effects and all that lovely stuff. How long did that take? I expected this to take way longer. It's only been 47 minutes? Wow, that was short. I still got lots to react to. Ow. Hi, Mark, by the way. Well, get your butt on it. I had to get this done today though, I had to. I want to try and get this done before I before I go somewhere. That way I don't have anything to come home to, like no work whatsoever. Excuse me. Oops. I have one pending message on a place I don't even know about. Yeah, sure. I'm going to believe that. And while this is running, let's listen to some Prince Whatever. Why not? <sighs> damn. Oh, it's eight. God damn. That'd be the one. Do I care? No. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not a salad guy.
excuse me. I don't know how loud that is in comparison to my uh, voice. Let me look at uh, OBS real quick. Hey, from where you are, the elements can't out the spark. Uh, we can just do that. You too. Hello, Jerome Charles. Hello, Tayline Riker. Uh, we're finishing up. This took less longer than I thought it was going to take. Are you scared of this fight? Or do you know when you're right? Excuse me. Uh see the answer is clear. <sighs> Appreciate you guys tuning in. I just I thought it was going to take longer than it did, but apparently it didn't. I really thought that the dialogue would be a lot more impactful, which, depending on how the whole mix works out, I may or may not uh, change some of it. It all depends. So we're just listening to some tunes just until this renders. <laughs> what the actual fuck? I may have to read that new comic that came out with the Discord on it. Because I'm seeing a lot of hype around it. Elemental. Oops. Elemental. Elemental. Hello, Steffi Bugs. Uh, forgive me if I don't remember if I don't remember who you are. My memory is absolutely horrible. Does it have a few channel option? Go to channel. My computer is so slow. Hmm. Nothing rings a bell. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I know you, it's been a long while because, or, or either that or you are under a different name. 
because I don't recall your name at all. No, no, not, not an insult. I gotta remember, just change that before it goes to the next one. Because that is actually uh, copyright music. I've been on your live streams before. Hmm. How long ago? I may or may not remember you. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> my brain is so bad anymore. I swear, the epilepsy is just making my freaking memory worse. <sighs> like a few months ago oh yeah oh yeah I don't remember clear back then unless I really really got to know you be like you and me but they care more than you know what if you're gonna be a bitch and just keep talking shit? Why don't you pack your bags and leave us alone? <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, I appreciate all your support and for commenting. I just don't have a good memory anymore. I honestly... That's just the honest to God truth. And I'm only 27 years old. <laughs> it's either my epilepsy or it's the fucking medication I'm on. Alright. That's done. I'm going to put that into Audacity to make sure nothing got corrupted. It should enough, but... Yeah, never know. But here we are, but here we are, gone too far. Uh, import audio. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Maybe, G Money. Uh, is that it? Yes. Basically, my profile pic is still similar to my old one, and I know how you feel. <sighs> well, I appreciate your support, even though I can't remember. God, I feel horrible. <laughs> I'm glad I actually had this. Sh I'm glad that this was actually not taking that long because, yeah, it's getting late. I know it's just only 8:40 for me, but honestly, that's kind of late for me. You're right. Nobody is perfect. One thing that the world should freaking learn nowadays. <sighs> Damn it. This is a real fun song to play, by the way. Why don't you get it down anyway? Very fun song. Oh, 
Excuse me. Okay, I actually gotta go check this because there's... There's a... Yeah. What the flying fuck? Okay, no. <laughs> Next! This is what I like to do just to calm my brain down. Music always helps me. Just gotta get past these stupid ads. Even though I get it. I mean, you guys have to deal with it on my channel. Jesus, this thing is so slow. Come on. Okay. So it's pretty simple to check for these. Just gotta zoom in. Kind of look at the variations. I highly doubt it got corrupted, but you've never flipping know. It's been revealed I'm not a pony after all, but will they seek to disassemble me? Put me up against the wall. Following my every move. It looks fine. Everything's even. For now, anyway. Is this what I really am? I begin to understand. I need to check that real quick. Just make sure the effect did actually apply. Yep. Okay. So, file's fine. Now we just need to go upload it. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on. No, YouTube, screw off. Systems. I'm crashing down. is in my eyes but the dark circuits in my mind the gears that twist and turn inside my memories corrupted over time of alert in progress <laughs> da 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 Get my life before Am I a machine and nothing more? That's under music. That's the one. I miss MLP so much, man. Uh, I mean, I miss it, don't get me wrong, but I don't miss it so much that I'm, like, dying to have it back. Like I said before, I was ready for G4 to move on to G5 because they were running out of ideas. Plus, I've had plenty of content to keep me happy over the years. But G5 is doing well, in my opinion. The series will be the big tester. I have not seen, seen, seen uh, Tell Your Tale, but I have seen Make Your Mark. I like where it's going. It's actually a very adult topic, if you think about it. Hold on to what's right to believe in us and to I like dismiss. I know, I'm running out of, I know I'm running out, okay? Shut the up, I don't need to know. Things that I already do know. 
Just make sure I'm not running too low. Yeah, my computer's old, so that's why it's buffering so badly. The reason why I do this is because I do not trust hard drives anymore ever since I lost everything to another hard drive. That was on the older computer. Okay, it's uploaded. Okay, that's good. Just like it tonight Under cool moonlight Alright. God, I hate to cut the stream so damn short. It's only, what, an hour in? I haven't practiced guitar today. I guess I could do some... I guess I could do some guitar. Why not? I mean, I need to practice anyways. Are you on? Yeah, you are. You're on. I do need to adjust the volume, though. Oops. We're in tune, but in the wrong, uh, the wrong, uh, whatchamacallit, tuning for like Prince Whatever songs. Let's see here. So, I need to actually, I need to actually tune down to drop C, even though Elemental is actually in drop D. It's about, I think, half a step down, if I'm not mistaken, from standard. Uh, last night, my desktop I was nowhere near the level that my mic was. I just gotta be careful. Okay, I think that should be good. I do need to change the camera though. So more like that. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, I see, I see, I see. I know what's going on here. I need to move that into frame. There we go, that's better. Now it doesn't look so wonky. Why do I look like I'm so far over? So, like, down here. Okay. These are the strings I always have the hardest time with in this tuning. So that's fine. That's more like it. Did I just go down? Uh, 
Okay, now we're to a Prince Whatever tuning. Let's patch drop C. I don't know if it's the right one, but I'm pretty sure it is. Why am I so far away? Let's see, the camera always plays with me, so I need to come over more this way. Turn the kick guitar kind of that way. I could play that one I've been working on. Because I do write my own stuff. I remember when I I remember when I wrote one that was like uh, for something a long time ago. I remember what it goes like, but that's a, this is the wrong tuning. It would be you drop D. So we can determine the right tuning. Yeah, it's just because I've got one headphone in, on my ear and one off. Okay, I haven't played uh, him this together for quite a while. And why do you still seem out of tune? Bombshell. Oh my god. Something like that. I don't really practice that song much as much as I should anyway. Elemental, oh shit. Wrong tuning, right? Shit. I won't say it's that, but it's a tricky one. Thank you. I have been playing for 20 plus years now. <laughs> A little over 20. Uh, let's see. I do know some pony songs, but not very many. Nope. Why do you still seem out of tune? Oh, that's gonna be crazy. Whoa. It's the top tune of Trevor Cousy. Is that right? That sounds a little more in tune. This this guitar goes so easily out of tune, so it could be a little tricky. Okay, let's add some uh, music to the equation. Hmm. Uh, I can't do elemental because I'm in the wrong tuning. Uh, better tomorrow. I haven't played that one in forever. Okay, the solo.
Something like that. Sure, we'll do better tomorrow. Uh, I don't remember. I don't know what volume it's at. I don't know how loud I am in comparison to the actual volume over there. I do need to turn the main one down, though. Otherwise, I'm going to be kind of confused. Right there. That should be good enough. Come on, hurry it up. Thank you. Okay, better tomorrow takes a minute to start. <sighs> it's been a while since I've played this one. Is there anything tricky in this song? Oh yeah, that one part. This will be interesting. Solo. <laughs> this is not going to be pretty. Thank you. 
Totally messed up the beginning of the solo. That part. Whew. Okay, that was fun. Haven't played that song in a little bit. Ooh, Breaking Bonds. I don't know if I'm ready for that one. Eh, yeah, let's try it. Why not? special for this one. I don't think so. I don't think so. Can we please just play nice computer? What is the, what's the pattern? There it is. So it's eight, not whatever the hell I was playing. Needs to be a little louder. Can't hear myself. There we go. That's more like it.
I can't play this part. I can't remember how to play it. Something like that. Lingering. Yeah, that one part of... Not really a tram pick or so. Happy Pride Month to you. I'm sorry, I can't really come out with something for this month. I don't have enough time at all, so... another good one. Um, am I ready for that one? Search that one. I don't know if I just swore. Uh. Yeah, I know that movie. I know of it, but I haven't seen it. I'm a guy that doesn't really get out all that much, so it, I am not really caught up with today's society. Anyways, let's... It's been a minute since I played this song. We're back with the Kills Prime Time and Daniel Ruiz made color. Do I care? No, I don't. Daniel is opting to go with Kills 3 Premium here because of his... Can the one just count down already? Thank you. Computer, can we please? Thank you.
fuck that up. Wow, that's the best I've ever played that solo on live stream before. Wow. I'm proud of myself for that one. That was good. <laughs> Mine those, minus those little uh, fuck ups that I did. But that song's a lot of fun. Uh, Fan the Flame, I don't know yet. Miss Tarantula reminds me of Twilight Sparkle for some reason in a crossover in my head. Interesting. Not sure what it's all about. Um, how long has it been since I've played Remember Me? Probably pretty long. <laughs> uh, didn't I do like a solo for that one? Jesus, I can't remember. Uh, yes. That little part goes. <laughs> One too far up. I think I might be one step too high. Uh, remember me. It's been a while, but I think I'm one step too high on the bottom stringers. Remember me. This is another one of my favorites. I think I might be one step too high. It's been a while. Just because anything can now be delivered with Uber Eats does not mean you can eat anything. So stop thinking that not food is food. Got it? Sure, dude. Food. Sure. 100% sure. Mm. It's been a while since I've played this one.
Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, how did I get that note? Try that one again. Gee, money Christmas. <sighs> Try that one more time. Yep, I can't remember the solo. <laughs> What was that damn solo? Oh my god. 
I can't remember. I know it's simple, I just can't. I don't know, but my solo went something like a... to uh, Dimebag Daryl there. <sighs> okay, uh, what one, what a, oh shit, I'd have to tune down to uh, A for that one. Ooh, Frailty, I haven't played that one in a while. That one's fun. Uh, maybe I'll do any Enemy Undefined. That one's fun. And we'll do that as the last one.
Hello, Alan. Welcome back. Okay, so now I gotta drop it down to drop A. So this is gonna be fun. Okay, so there's drop C. Still too much. So it's actually pretty important that I get the tuning grade corrector. Oh well, it's gonna come out how it's supposed to. Let me make sure I've got the tuning right. Do I need anything? No. Okay, this song's fun. Hopefully I've got the tuning correct. I take it, Master Sparrow completed another section. Yeah, I did. It didn't take as long, so I decided to do some guitar practicing and share it, because why not? This isn't normally how I practice guitar, but it's the only way I can make it, you know, entertaining. Yeah, that's right. Okay.
tried to kill you. Totally fucked that one up. I think one of my strings went out of tune. I fucked that up? <laughs> yep, one of my strings went out of tune. So that solo would have went. Does the string keep going at him? Why does this thing hate me so much? I don't know why it's being this way. It's way too high. I don't know why this happened.
Oh, that's weird. I do not know what's going on. Now it's too flippin' high. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the hell is up with my tuning right now. I don't know. It's supposed to sound way different than that. Is one of my strings loose? This is a weird guitar. majority of it, but yeah, that's basically it. So now you get the bomber. So that should be right. it is good lord that took way too long i'm gonna do that again just for that goddamn reason i knew i had it <sighs> annoying i like this song anyway so it's fun <laughs> hmm. i think my favorite chips would be twine ash oh I saw something about something to do with an annoying character. That would be probably Chancellor Naysay, if I had to say it. No pun intended.
words they said to my head. I tried to kill you second light. Timing on this one is kind of tricky. Hello, oh, girl. That was a little better, but that's the improvised solo I wrote for that song. For some reason, a lot of fans hate so so Oh my god! Starlight Glimmer. The only reason people hate her is because I think it's just because of her sudden reformation or whatever. Pretty much, I think that she was very cute. I don't mind her. Blah, 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 blah. I like. I love. St I love Starlight Shimmer. I do. <laughs> I got to. I was already out of tune.
chat. You can see now she was able to hold four color da, 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 da. Obviously having some combined magic, yeah. By doing so, getting the knowledge of four color cards, and then giving back the three. To be honest, I like Starlight Glimmer as a character, but in some cases she kind of annoys me just a tiny bit, sometimes in some episodes. But overall I do like her. Well, she's not perfect. It's like what you said above in the chat. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering what I just played, that's something I've written. Kind of fucked up on the soul a little bit, but that part's hard. Hello, uh, oh geez, G, I am not even gonna pronounce, pronounce that because I w don't want to insult you, but G sun dash underscore 77. If you're wondering what we're doing here, we're just uh, playing some guitar. What I just played was something that I just uh, wrote. There's a lot of stuff that I've written. Excuse me. I think... What do you mean there's three of them? Well, I don't know. I can't see my camera. I think that's enough guitar for now. Let's go remember. That's in drop A. Not drop uh, whatever I had in the last uh, D. I think it was actually half, just half a step down, not a full step. Oh, it's flipping hot in here. Okay. Headphones on, please. There's three of them. There's one right there. There and there. And probably many, many more. Why am I so far over? There I go. I know why. It's because my freaking thing isn't here anymore, so it's kind of wacky. There's another one, if I turn my chair this way. Sorry guys, I'm not used to cameras. I cannot. <laughs> See, there's another one right there over my shoulder. 
that's sub bank, I believe. <sighs> it's freaking driving crazy. Let me turn my camera so it's more towards me. But it's because there's no barrier here anymore, so it's kind of odd. That and the fact that my camera is normally like this, so I normally can see only a certain amount of the thing. Uh, gee, many Chris, please take this off for just a second. My head is sweaty. Mm. Oh, wow. I probably should scroll up and look at the stuff. Welcome to the stream, Dark Bodhi. I hope that's how you say her name. Uh, I think ships would be between Twy Dash. My favorites are... Well, my top favorite is definitely Twy Dash. But... Everything else... I love Flutter Dash. I love Sunset and Twily. Uh, what is that? That's Twice Set. Well, technically, Psy Set, if you're counting Psy Twice... Side Twilight, and then there's regular Twilight and Sunset. Which, if you have seen Savior or listened to it, whatever, uh, that one is not Psy Twi in that. That is actually regular Twilight, but it's not like Equestria Twilight either. It's basically my own Twilight because it's nothing like the original Twilight. She's very stubborn and she's very. not as friendly as Twilight is. She's kind of like Twilight when at the beginning of Friendship is Magic. Ugh. Uh, Sunset, Sunset, or something like bleh. Uh, am I a friend? Blah, 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 blah. Am I a flan? No, I'm not a flim flan, brother. Uh, am I a Rainbow Dash fan? Yes, she's my favorite. She was my first favorite, technically. My second favorite is Twilight. My first favorite was Rainbow Dash because I just like her scheme. I honestly just like her scheme. Uh, but the reason why Twilight's my second favorite is because she reminds me a lot of myself. Because back in school, Sparrow, all he used to, all he used to basically occupy himself with was books. Books silence myself because bullies were a thing, and that was just my personality. I didn't like to be around other people. Kind of like how nowadays I still don't like to be around other people. Not saying that I can't be around people, but I just don't like to be around big crowds. It's not my thing. It's a thing. It's just a preference. Okay. Dang Dash is popular. Uh, the most popular pony, I think, is... I want to say it's Fluttershy. It, it's probably Fluttershy. Same here. It's Darky Bodhi. Okay. I'll have to remember that, which I probably won't. <laughs> uh, I don't know what Steffi Bugs is, re is replying to that. I guess maybe the Savior quote. I don't know. But I consider Savior one of my best because I just like it. I, uh, you know, I'm not saying it because it's my own story. I just really like how, I came, how it came out. And a lot of people are asking for a sequel, but I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Uh, Sightwise is still adorable, though. Yep. Nerd. Yeah, classy. Oh, hey, we match my first favorite Twy is my second favorite. Second favorite is Dash. Interesting. Uh, ow. But I just... I'm just very proud of that project. Kind of like how as proud as I am of every one of my projects, but... Ow. Savior just had a certain like other sort of thing to it. I gotta keep my eyes shut. Are we not gonna be irritated? Uh, yes, we are gonna be irritated. It's nothing big. My eyes just get irritated. So if I just keep it shut for a minute, it'll go away. Uh, I watched all of Savior yesterday. Nice. It basically takes a full day to listen to it, so 
I hope you liked it. Uh, would you, uh, would you do a fanfic, or <laughs> a Disney fanatic story? The the son of Discord's son-in-law, or son-in-law of Discord. Uh, I'd need her permission, and I don't feel like I would do it justice, honestly, because I'm just one person. Given that I'm going up against other stories like uh, Daughter of Discord and Bride of Discord, that is some heavy shoes to fill. You're an artist, my friend. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Anyone, anyone, it's anyone when you get something in your eye. It's not that I'm getting something in my eye, it's just my eyes are easily irritated. It's just something. And that's the reason my lip is going up. It's my reason, that's the reason my lip is going up. It's just because this one pulls my skin up a lot more. Annoying not anyone. Wait, where was that? Okay, are we gonna play Nice High? Please? She is not making that. I know she isn't, but that's still some heavy shoes to fill. Like, it's kind of like, you know, doing... Like when I did uh, Silent Hill. Or Silent Hill. <laughs> Close. Silent Ponyville. When I did Silent Ponyville, I immediately, I immediately let everybody know I am not trying to outmatch Goody Serenade's version here. I am not trying to do that. I am just trying to do my own thing. I'm doing this because I want to do this. This is not something that... Ugh. This is not me pointing fingers or calling out a YouTuber. Which I have nothing against Goody Serenade. He's never done anything wrong to me. He's only done good things. And I respect the guy. He's a giant like me. You know, I think Goody would tower me. Should I grab my, rain my Dash Plush too? Oh, that's not the only dash plush. There's one over there on the bed. There's one up there along with figurines. I'm sure there's more. <laughs> yeah, there's more figurines on the shelf off to the side. Uh, I've got a painting. I've got uh, Pez dispensers. I've got... <laughs> I've got too much. That's what I've got. I've got the G5 figures, actually. I need these, please. Because they're kind of small. This is all they have of G5 where I am. Well, minus some toy sets, but that's it. But, yeah, these are just uh, little 5-inch figures, but they're still nice, in my opinion. I just... These are really nice, too. I'm honestly surprised. These are from Walmart. <laughs> so... They're actually pretty nice for what they are. So there's... I get these two these two mixed up. Zip! That's Zip. Zip's not the rarity-esque one. Uh, this is the one I'm least impressed with. And this is my favorite character of uh, G5 so far. Uh, Izzy? Izzy Sun... No. Izzy Moonbo. I still don't got their names down all the way. Uh... Sunny, of course. Basically, Scootaloo, if she had a longer mane. I'm sorry, but that... And if she were an Earthbunny, of course. They've got her braid and everything. I like I like that about her. These all cost $7 each. And, of course, Rarity Jr. <laughs> Pip. Um, she's okay. I mean, her mane's kind of off a little bit, like her little flap that hangs down on her face, but I'm not expecting Walmart to be perfect. These were seven bucks each, so so about 28 bucks. The comparisons be people make between Sunny and school I'm sorry, that's the first thing I thought when I saw the concept. When I saw her for the first time, I'm like, oh wow, it's Scootaloo if she had a braid and was actually a main character. I might find a place for these on the shelf. I don't think I've got room for anything, but... <laughs> like, if you guys could see this right off to the side, you would be like, Welp, he's not he's not fibbing. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I mean, I wish I could just show you. But that is the G5 merchandise I have so far, minus what Mark sent me, which is the CD uh, and... Yeah, I think that's it. I'll just set these back here. 
Oh yeah, I've got the mini ones. Uh, who do I got of those? I've got Scootaloo, I've got Big Mac, AJ, Twiley. I want to say there's one more. Oh, Durky, she fell. Clear on the, there. it's on a Christmas tree in the back. Yeah, I have my Christmas tree decorated all year. That's what that, that's what that is, where my finger's pointing. That's my, that's my, uh, horde of guitars. <laughs> um, my keyboard in the back. Uh, other than that, there's not really that much else interesting about me. Of course, I've got this crap, you know, off to the side whenever I'm, for whenever I'm recording. Hang on. Should I go Rainbow Dash? Uh, I have a Rainbow Dash plush on my table in my room, too. Uh, I just realized I had the wrong username. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. Holy cow, you love Dash that much. I mean, yeah. She's one of my favorites. I don't really care for her, like, egotistic attitude, but at least she doesn't let her egotisticness take her over completely. That's what I like about Dash. And the main reason I absolutely hate, uh, Secrets and Pies. I hate that episode. It's stupid, and it makes Dash look like an ass. Same thing with Non-Compete Claws. That is a horrid episode. Uh... Pip is my favorite, and so is Rarity. I really don't care for Rarity. She was great in Season 7. I will give her that prop. But I but Rarity was my least favorite. She reminded me too much of my sister. Still does. Uh school of no wings, sunny. And a braid. And a braid. Like longer hair. When I saw the beginning of the movie of G five when I watched it when Twy appeared, I cried. Trust me, I lost I miss her so much. Uh I mean I wasn't really crying by any means. I didn't even cry at the end of G four, honestly. I was close, very close. But I held it in. <laughs> I managed to hold it in. Which I'm not, I'm not ashamed to cry. I mean, I cried when, uh, did I cry when the key markers here got their key markers? No, I did not. I cried, wasn't it the AJ, AJ's parents episode? I'm watching it the second time, yep, I cried. Yep, that one is a heart wrencher. That one plays with your heartstrings for sure. Freaking hot. Who is Lester Don's parents? I have no clue. We never really saw much about her. I'm sure it goes into, uh, I'm sure maybe it goes into the comics. I don't know. But there was, there was actually a story that someone sent me that they wanted me to read. And it had to do with the, like, conversion from, like, G4 to G5, why it got the way it is. Problem, it had way too many characters. I could not pull all of these characters. It was just not going to happen. <laughs> I was like, no, this is not going to happen. Because it has, like, all the princesses, Cadence, Flurry Heart, uh, Sunny, Izzy, and all them. That's a lot of characters. <laughs> and I have to come up with a voice for each and every one. Like, I have one for all the main six. Like, uh, Twilight's just very nasally. Rainbow Dash is just kind of rough and ragged with like a nasal yet into it. Rabbity's just push. Aj's just southern. Uh, who am I missing? Oh, Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie's just high and happy and with a heavy smile on your face all the time. <laughs> and then Fluttershy. Oh, very, very quiet and very content. Uh, then there's a the CMC. Uh, I mean Applejack. Or, pff, Applejack. Apple Bloom's literally just that AJ, but more high pitch. Apples, apples, apples. That's literally Apple Bloom. Uh, who am I missing? Sweetie Belle. Sweetie Belle's just Apple Bloom without the southern, southern accent. I could not come up with any other voice for her. Uh, Scootaloo just sounds like a chain smoker because that's all I could come up with, come up with for her. <sighs> Ouch. Uh, any other specific characters? Octavia is just is just me with the horrible British ac accent attempt. Uh, who am I missing? Celestia, ooh, she's all over the place. Honestly, she's she's kind of a deeper like area of my throat kind of character. Like she's motherly soundy, but she's very bassy at the same time. Like it, it I'm not kidding you. When I speak with her, 
a, when I speak her voice, it goes into the throat. It like goes deeper into my throat, so the Adam's apple does drop a little bit. Um, only if I were to do this. Uh, Princess Celestia. I haven't done Princess Celestia for flipping ever. My name is Princess Celestia. My name is Princess Celestia. Twilight? That's literally, like, Celestia right there. It's like all nasaliness gone, but with, like, a female uh, sound to it. I am Princess Celestia. You know, like that. Then you just... <laughs> Luna sounds like a pissed off person. I, I, I don't care. It sounds pissed off all the time. I am Princess Luna. <laughs> uh, God. Um. Any other specific characters? Not that I can think of off the top of my head. That I voiced. Uh, yeah, Luna's one I've never really done all that much, so it's not really one that I really play with. Uh, Cadence is just like a soft voice. Like, honestly, there's nothing to Cadence's voice that implements this is something specific about this character. Like, that's the best way I could put it. She just doesn't seem like she has anything specific to her character or her voice that I can use. Spike is just a deep voice. Hey, Twilight! Literally, that's it. Because in in narrating, basically, if you if you are doing a different voice, you can just do like a deep accent or a high voice. It doesn't really matter. Please, someone kill off the flashlight, please. Spike sounds like he's trying to toughen up all the time. I didn't mind Flash, he was just kind of pointless. They never gave him anything to go with, so that's why he kind of just... died. <laughs> I mean... Did I support the ship? I thought it was fine. I, did, I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> I really don't care. That's the thing with shipping. As long as it's age appropriate, go ahead and like what you want to like. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't have time to listen to people bicker over characters. If you like it, you like it. Who flipping cares? I don't. <laughs> oh, it's hot in here. I ship timber and flesh. I don't know. Do it. Like I said, do what you want to do. I don't care. But from the beginning, Twi Dash was my favorite. So you can only you can only imagine how I reacted when I saw uh what's the one where they go flying a lot? It's the one where Dash is failing the test. Oh shit! Really? God, I am horrible with episode names. Uh, Wonderbolt. Wonderbolt Academy, isn't it? No, it's not. It has to do with the goddamn test. Testing, testing, one, two, three. That's it. That's the one. That one very, very much got my shipping antics up, up out the window. <laughs> but the first ever reaction that I did to an MLP, like, live and recorded, was uh, a damn good episode. It was the main attraction. From there forward is where I started reacting with friends. And it's on my French channel, it's not on my channel. Uh so if you wanna if you wanna see those reactions, you gotta go to my friend uh Gallup Crush's channel. It's all on a playlist, it should be anyway. He, his channel recently did get hacked, so it could be a little wonky. But I just remember seeing the main attraction and the big the biggest highlight of that episode was when Countess Coloratura first shows up. Like, okay, I am a huge, huge, uh, I was a huge American Horror Story fan at the time. So I was watching season five, which had a character named the Countess in it that was voiced by Lady Gaga. So when I see this character that is based off of Lady Gaga and she's called the Countess, I'm like, 
that's either a humongous coincidence or that was planned. That's nuts. But someone guessed Britney Spears, I get, and I knew it was Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is all about the weird, weird shit. Ever since the meat dress, yeah. <laughs> Whatever the hell that was. But that was the very first episode, and it was a great one to start with because it was a great episode. Fantastic music tracks. Like, if you ask me, one of the best and most successful seasons was season five. Just because it had such great episodes. It had the cutie marks getting their cutie marks. Or, pfft, it had the cutie marks getting their cutie marks. Yes, Barrel, that makes sense. It had the cutie mark crusaders getting their cutie marks. Finally, uh, what was the one? they had Robra. Uh, it had, I got to think hard on that one. It's been a long time. One of the most disturbing openings ever. I shit you not, the very first time, any time, any time I ever watch the season 5 opener, I still do not feel comfortable watching it. The smiles, the creepy essence of music and all that stuff, it just does not feel right. Like, like Starlight was easily one of the most intimidating villains. She is easily one of the most intimidating. I really liked her as a villain. She was very threatening, even though her motivate her her uh, what is it motive didn't make any sense. Honestly, she was afraid to lose a friend be because she got a tat too attached to one, lost it. She was just afraid to make friends, so she kind of just took into account, hey, as long as I make everybody else miserable, I'm happy, right? <laughs> cutie mark. If they don't get their cutie marks, I'm not gonna lose a friend again. Yay! She was just so scared of losing a friend that she hated cutie marks. So it kind of does make sense, actually. Now that I think about it. Uh, what are some other highlights from Season 5? It has been so long. Amending Fences. That was another one. Great episode. Uh, a lot of the ones toward the end were fucking fantastic. The music was great. Uh, yeah, I season five is easily just one of the best in my book. Not the best like season finale or anything like that, but it was just great because of the episodes in it. Like Ra Ra, I wish would have come back at some point, but you know, Hasbro gotta be Hasbro. Okay, let me talk about Slice of Life for a minute. Slice of Life, first time I watched it, I did not understand what the hell it was all about. So I'm watching this, uh, and just thinking to myself, what is going on? Why all of a sudden are we not focusing on the main cast and focusing on background characters? And why are we doing shipping stuff going on here? And why is there a bugbear? What is actually happening right now? Like, I was so confused. It was unlike anything I had ever seen. Because, keep in mind, I was just up and coming. I was just watching the show to catch up with what the hell was happening. Then, later on, I learned what it's about. And I'm like, that makes a lot more sense. That makes so much more sense. Thank you. Please and thank you. <laughs> I was so flipping confused the entire time. Just like, what the fuck is all this supposed to be about? And where I learned what it was about, Barney's React. Because they stop and pause and all that stuff. Uh, like, I didn't see the picture of the cast with the horse masks on. I didn't see that. I'm not someone that with that good of an eye. But, you know, it inspired all sorts of ideas for the fandom. Hell, I can even, I can even say I took the idea for the Lyra Bond ship in a Lyra song from that. Like a lot of the fandom has. And in the end, they actually ended up getting married. I like how Hasbro actually implemented gay gay marriage and didn't and told the hater screw you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was not actually searching for MLP, but I came across a video of Doctor Hoofs and Derpy as she was her and brought to Celestia and Luna before he began his transformation, breaking the castle. I want to say I've heard of that. Uh. I can't remember. I can't remember what it's called. It's a comic series. It's a comic, I believe, like a comic dub series. I heard that E.G. was coming back in twenty. Jesus Christ! 
yeah, I'll be dead by then. It's like, okay, if anybody's got a problem with this, I don't care. But the guy on Twitter, the save MLP dude, I'm sorry, but... Well, this guy just flipping grow up already. I mean, seriously, him and his little bandwagons of characters. I'm just like, why are you continuing for a lost cause? This is never going to happen. Hasbro's never going to approve this. I'm sorry, but get, but really, let's think logically here. Hasbro has already put out G5. G5 is set for release in September. There is no sign of them going back to G4. It's not going to happen. It's like I even saw that tweet, uh, you know, of the person saying, hey, if you want to get Hasbro's attention, buy stocks. Even then, they still have to go through the process of, um, you know, getting Hasbro to approve the idea. Do you know how many script ideas and episode ideas are turned down every single day or were in the entirety of uh, G4? Hundreds. <laughs> There was over a hunt. There was probably easily over a hundred or more. It's just something that happens. It's part of business. But the fact that they are still holding on, thinking this is going to get revised, this is going to get revised, even though we've all moved on to freaking G5, it just makes me go, What the actual F are you thinking? I think it's just a troll joke at this time for attention. Because even if they get people to sign their little campaign thing, it's not going to matter. If you want to get Hasbro's attention, you have to convince them that their shit was horrible. And you know what they're going to say? We made over a million dollars on that. So, where's the failure in that? That's exactly what they're going to say to your face. All Hasbro wants is that dough. That's all they want. It's not about pleasing an audience to them. It's not about making people happy or world peace or equal footing on liking something. It's not going to happen. So they don't they could give a fuck less about some cuck who wants to basically say the G4 finale was horrible, so I'm going to take everything that's released after this that isn't against my preference, that's against my preferences, and I'm going to make a petition for it to get it revised in the future, even though they've all moved on to G5. Man, I'm stupid. How does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? Everybody's moved on. G5 has filmed. It it's getting more additions. There is no sign of G4 coming back. So why the hell are you continuing to hold on to a lost cause? At this point, you are just holding on to nothing but empty air. I don't get it. But that's why I blocked him, so I don't have to see his stupid posts. And the fact that Big Jim, one of the directors on the team of the MLP cast had to call out to him because he didn't state it was him but we all knew what he was referring to because who's the only person who wanted to get season 9 completely revised him him and his little followers it was him the fact the fact that a director of a show ha that has long since passed and he has moved on to bigger and better things the fact that he has to come forward and tell him dude move on the only people you can convince is Hasbro it's not going to happen is bad. That's just sad at that point. When someone from the original show has to freaking tell you it's not going to work. <laughs> oh my god. Like, at this point, he with the amount of followers he has, he could have made his own version of a remake. Let's, let's go with an example for a minute. Have any of you seen that Courage the Cowardly Dog uh, remake of the episode uh, Freaky Fred? Where a lot of different animators with different types of styles actually uh, like took every scene of that and remade it in their own styles? That was cool. They revised that entire episode with their own art styles and their own like ideas. 
Why doesn't he do that? I think it's for attention. Honestly, I do think it's for attention because any other way, it does not make sense. I think this is an attention, attention horde kind of idea. I honestly think it's just for attention at this point. So, I'm not going to feed the troll. I learned to not feed trolls long ago. Like, I'll call him out on his bullshit. But, other than that, I think he's just an attention whore at this point. Maybe in 2023. It's not going to happen, guys. <laughs> Equestria Girls, G4, done. It's done, Zo. It's locked in the vault. It's done. Everything is done. <laughs> it's moved on. Do I agree that the way that Equestria Girls ended was right? No, I do not. I do not agree it was right. They should have ended it with, like, graduation or something like that. But it wouldn't have made real much sense. But I can accept it. EQG was meant to be a runoff of G4. So it was there for money. That was all it was there for. Toys, toys and merchandise and money. That's all that Equestria Girls was made for. That's it. That's their plan. It's working, so don't fix something that isn't broken. This is to everyone. When will season eight and nine come out on DVD? Since it is still on Prime Video. Uh, are you from the UK? Because the only place, no, that's actually Netflix. I'm thinking of. No, you guys haven't. The UK hasn't gotten says this the other seasons either. I don't know if the U.S. has either yet. They may still be in the process of, like, re-rendering all of it and all that shit. Like, making it so that it fits to the screen and yada, 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 yada. That whole process. Basically, remaking it so it's higher quality and all that crap. Which, that can take a while. I don't know if I've ever seen the Season 7 and Season... not Like, Season 7 through 9 out on DVD yet. I don't know, I don't go to stores enough, and where I live, it's kind of outdated a lot. But, I imagine Hasbro will come out with it sooner or later. I mean, that'd be kind of a, a business loss for them. But I just had to get that off my chest, because I honestly think it's just for attention at this point. And I have to say it, if nobody else is going to say it. Because... If, you are, if you've been on the channel long enough, you know who I've dealt with, and you know how people can be. I mean, if you've just been on Twitter, you know how people can be. One specific actress right now is being won by, going to, by getting interviews and trying to make up for her loss in money. If you've been in recent news recently, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And that's not really drama. It's It's been the entertainment of 2022. <laughs> like, this whole Amber Heard and Johnny Depp thing, I'm sorry, but I loved it. Not just because Johnny won. Not just because Johnny won. But just watching Amber Heard kill herself. Honestly. If you're going into this, you bring all of your guns with you. You don't bring a knife. And just watching this, I'm like, oh my god, this is fucking hilarious. Because she's getting everything that she deserves back in her face. Like, this, these kinds of people do exist. And they do need to be knocked down a few notches. Because people are wrongly convicted like this a lot. And the way that Johnny was, like, just told by Disney, hey, you're a woman beater, get out of here. Without any physical proof or, or anything or any fair like judgment, no trial, no way for him to get his side of the story out in time, that was bullshit. But I can see if Johnny chooses to reprise the role of Jack Sparrow, if it happens, you gotta think from his point of view, guys, that's a lot of money. And that's essentially what he's in it for. He's in it for the money. He's an actor, but he also likes money, just like every other human being. Sadly, EG was used, but hey, at least we have fan fiction of CG. Exactly! That's another thing he could have done. He could have wrote fan fiction about his little ideas and all that shit. Why don't he do that? 
Again, it doesn't make any sense. Why doesn't he just make fan fiction? Because he likes the attention. It's an attention thing. People will do stupid shit. Even make themselves look like idiots for attention. Amber Heard's doing it right now. <laughs> and she is a super egotist. And I, and as a fanfiction reader, I read a lot of fanfiction. So there are some great, great fanfictions out there that rival MLP episodes. I, well, I won't lie. Like, I've seen some that are, like, remakes of episodes, and they're better. <laughs> Honestly. Like, certain episodes I don't like. Non-compete class, it should have never existed. Because there's another episode that already did the whole entire moral of that episode way better, and that was Running of the Leaves. I can't remember what it's called. It's the Running of the Leaves episode. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but basically, Applejack and Rainbow Dash get into a competition with each other, and eventually they learn, hey, competition is what, isn't what it's all about. It's about friendship, right? That's what this whole... That's why I think Non-Compete Clause is not only a terrible episode, but it's also a very horribly done like remake of that episode. Like... Non-compete clause, in my opinion. <sighs> they did it the entire wrong way. They made Apple Dash and Dash look like fucking assholes. Did I say Apple Dash? Oops. But they made Applejack and Dash look like complete and utter assholes. I don't like that. Especially because we're in season... That was eight, wasn't it? I believe that was season eight. Yeah, that was season... No, it was season... That was season eight. Yeah, because of the school, the the main, the the little six or whatever they call them. Uh, the fact that <laughs> Applejack and Rainbow Dash would put a student's life in danger alone is enough to say, no, <laughs> go to the corner. You have been bad. Uh, some people. Even I like money, but I never, I will never blow it away. Even if I be, become very rich, I will be responsible for my money. A lot of rich people do that. Yeah, egotists. People, to people that you think, people that think you can't touch them because they're basically at a level where they can't be touched. Trust me, there's always a chance that level can come. All you have to do is just make one wrong decision. Look at what's happened to some of the best content creators. Or in my case, a freaking sick-ass pedophile that thought he was untouchable until I knocked him down from his pedestal. And then he just killed himself on the fall down. Uh. Hey, Hasbro. Let's look to hey, hey, Hasbro, let's work together. Money, 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 money. I know that was a horrible Mr. Krabs impression, but hey, I try. I become a millionaire on our purpose. Yeah, I did, but he's long gone. Well, he's still out there, but he's long gone from my life. Like anytime his name is ever brought up anymore, I just I'm just like, whatever. I'm done. I've buried that freaking problem in the ground with a solid concrete block and much more. So that it never, ever arises from the ground ever again. The last time I ever heard of him was on a reading. I can't remember what one, but it was a reading. And it was somebody saying, hey, miss, hey, he wants to challenge you to a reading contest. Uh, no, I will not partake in anything. What, what do I have to prove to win? I didn't ERP with a minor, with a minor that is 11 years old. I actually have morals and values. Thank you very much. I've already won. Thank you. Bye. Next. <clears throat> Do you know Wubcake? Um, I used to talk with her. But we don't really talk much. 
She's voiced for, I think, a couple of my things. I think it was one or two. Didn't she voice for two? I want to say she voiced for two, but I think it was only one. Because I remember she voiced in uh, Crystal's with Revenge. She played Twilight. Uh, I've helped her to take down some assholes, for sure. Like in a project where a director was just not a good director at all. Yeah, we had to shut that down. Ow. Have you met any of the MLP voice actors? No. I... Guys, I'm in a place where there's no con nearby. The closest con to me is probably either Babs or whatever the Nevada one is. I can't remember. <sighs> but if you want to talk virtually, kind of, sort of. <laughs> uh, I do have Ellie Ray as a friend on my, on my Facebook, even though I don't ever use Facebook. Very sweet lady. If you don't know who she is, Miss Mame. And a lot more characters, too. What was great, by the way, Steffi? Well, she betrayed my friend, X Blood, X. Uh, X. Fuck. X Fox Blood X. She banned her just because her personality she had a suicide relapse. I don't know the full details, so I'm not going to make any judgments. Because I have had people like that in my life. Uh, like, uh, okay, there's one, there's one case of people like that that's bad. It's when people use it for attention. Again, back to like the save MLP kind of crap. People will do whatever they want for attention. And there's a lot of people who will use suicide as attention. And that's a no-no in my opinion. Because I have experienced suicide. I nearly killed myself when I was 11 years old. Luckily, something, not myself, something, I don't know what, pulled me out and stopped me. Before I before I did something I would have really have regretted. Because not long after, I got to go on my guided hunt. Uh, and, yeah, I have all this. So, I'm really glad I never, you know, did the thing. I went to a lot of therapy for it, but luckily I managed to get out of that that whole thing and came out of it strong. Now I have the mindset of somebody uh, that uh, that you should appreciate life and to never and you should never give up even if the odds are against you. Never give up. God gave you life for a reason. He gave you it for a reason, and it's not to kill yourself. God wouldn't forsake his children. Oh, man. Wish I could meet one of them. I have never been to any cons because I could not afford to go. Yeah, they are expensive. Fucking hell. She was a... In Fox or BFF, I don't know her well. Dude, I live, I live in Alaska. Very far from any cons. I bet. Yeah. I was 14 due to OCD. I agree with that. You shouldn't commit suicide. No. It's not something God wants you to do. God creates his children very, very uh, equally. We're all born the same. Are our lives all the same? Not exactly. But we all follow We all follow the same kind of like circle of life kind of thing. Never, ever commit suicide. And if you're thinking about it, talk to someone. Talk to your parents. Talk to a friend call the suicide hotline that's what it's there for get help can you do my little pony six unicorns fen what uh i don't know what you're asking of me i've done a lot with the main six in it just go look uh your life will get better, and I'd rather have something than nothing than... Blah, blah, blah. I'd rather have something than nothing, even though I believe in the afterlife. Uh, everyone matters. Yes. Yes. She was a suicide... I'm trying to kill herself. So what Wubs did is put her through it. 
Okay, if we're talking like back in like 2014, 2015-ish, when Wubs was a little bitch, basically, she admits she was a bitch, and she was a little shit. Honestly, I mean, people are stupid. Like, I can't remember what grade I was in, but I was in like, I want to say I was like third or second grade. I picked on a girl. I picked on a girl because she wouldn't talk. She refused to talk. So I always called her, what was the word? Tongueless. I called her tongueless because, you know, it's what the cool kids did. When I saw how I affected her, like she turned to me and she showed this face of like fear and sadness. Like she was crying. I'm like, oh my God, what did I do? See, I don't have it in me to be like that. I don't. I've got a heart of gold. I can't be mean to people unless they fucking deserve it. She did nothing wrong. So you know what? I... I waited. I waited until, you know, she had forgotten a little bit about it and wasn't as aware of me. I went to her and I got on my knees and I said, I am so sorry for everything I've done to you. So I, I just begged her for forgiveness and she forgave me. I was stupid. You know, kids are stupid. They'll make stupid mistakes. And you know what? She was a great friend to me. She didn't talk much, but you know what? She had a great personality. It just goes to show, don't be a bully. Because it affects people a lot more than you fucking think. For me, yeah, I am still affected from the after from the after effects of bullying. I that that's why I'm so afraid to go near people or make any friends. That's why I'm very anti social and an introvert. Because I'm afraid to make friends because I'm afraid of getting stabbed in the back. That's exactly why. I am traumatized by certain bullying bullying events that I've been to or been through. And, you know, it's the past, but it's not easy to just forget. But if that if those people came up to me right now and said sorry, I would forgive them. I would forgive them and say, you know what? You were young, you were stupid, you didn't know what you were doing. I I forgive you. I'm a forgiving person. Now, take someone like, oh, I don't know, Toon Critic, Dusky Novel. You know, those assholes, they don't deserve forgiveness at all. They have done horrid and unforgivable things. No, not happening. Some people deserve forgiveness, some people don't. There's... Like in Harry, like you know how in Harry Potter there's the unforgivable curses? There is unforgivable crimes in the world. There are unforgivable crimes in this world. Pedophilia, murder, anything that involves taking another life or affecting another's life. Negatively. It is an unforgivable crime. Yeah, I do have a good heart. I, like when I saw that girl just crying... I was like, what the fuck have I done? You know, why did I hurt her? Why did why did I be an asshole to her? And I started crying myself because I felt horrible. I was like, what do these fucking assholes get out of this shit? Why do they think it's fun, fun to poke and laugh at people who are crying on their feet? Why is that a good thing? Why do they consider that, you know, fun? It's not fun. It's wrong and it's a crime. It's bad. This is and cyberbullying just as bad. Cyberbullying is just as bad. Like I have tried to bury bad blood with people. Like people who have done stupid shit without knowing they were doing stupid shit, I have tried my hardest to make amends. And some people did make amends with me and some people didn't. Some of I some I haven't even talked to, and that's the thing. You don't ever have to talk to them again. They don't have to your, be, be your best friend. You can just bury the bad blood so you don't go to your grave, you know, with bad blood on your shoulders. That's the point. Just make amends. Forget about that shit. Unless it's something like, you know, what I just mentioned, like 
unforgivable crimes. Uh, first one, I'm just gonna the moms. The charger, all that good, sir. And an MLP, if you try destroying the world, it's okay. Well, make our BFF, and if you steal something, you get jail. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So, and I don't know Wubs very well. I've talked to Wubs a few times uh, through certain situations. In my opinion, I had no reason to not like her. Uh, she was a good person to me. Uh, except for when, um, what was the thing between her and Angel Love? Oh, when she, uh, when she was attacked by Angel Love and Angel Love was sent to, I think, jail or something like that. For forgiving her, I kind of found that stupid. But that's stupid. Hello. I don't guarantee I can help you here. Like, Wubs isn't necessarily a friend of mine. I've only talked to her a few times. <coughs> Excuse me. How is Mark doing? Uh, what time is it? Oh my god, it's 11 o'clock. Almost, anyway. Uh, he's doing fine. As much as I know, anyway. I don't really know what he's doing in life. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is what I've first seen of the MLP fandom. Okay. She basically doesn't like me for my personality, which is hyper and caring and energetic, personally. Personality. What's my favorite anime? Uh, well, I haven't seen very many to give you a good amount, but some that I've recently seen. And you can you can dump shit on me all you want for this. I love Sword Art Online. Yes, Kirito has a lot of plot armor. I'm not gonna lie about that. Yes, he has a lot of plot armor, but I like it. I like the whole, like, idea around it. I love Kirito, and... Uh-oh. What's her name? What's the name of his bro... What's the name of his girlfriend? Uh... I want to say it's, like, Ayaka or something like that, but that's a character in Genshin Impact. Oh, my God. It's an A. I know it's a flipping A. I just can't think of what her name is. It's A53 in Alaska? 10? That's really two hours behind. I didn't realize that. I do have Discord. Just go to my About page, or whatever. Just go to the About page on my uh, channel. You'll see my uh, my Discord uh, thingy dingy, my hashtag. So you can send me the messages or whatever. What made me start loving Twilight Ash? Hmm. I'm just kind of a fan of like the whole, <clears throat> excuse me, the nerd and like the tomboy kind of thing. Like I like opposites. How uh, like the way they say opposites attract. I like how they're complete total polar opposites. Like Twilight is not one that's wild and daring by any means. I mean, sure she fights these fucking wackos, but, you know, that's not necessarily saying you're daring by any means. you just got a job to do. <laughs> it's literally her job. Uh, or do you think they're going to be a Gen 6? Wait, what? What do you think is going to be a Gen 6? I have the screenshots of the conversation with the random guy who was sent by Whoops. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't have any contact with Whoops. I don't. I. We don't talk. Like, we've talked very, very little. 
Like, there's not really much I can say towards Wobs. Honestly, there's not. It's not because I'm scared. It's just... I don't really have a... I don't really have any, like, way to say it to her. And I really don't want to get involved if I don't have to. Oh, shit. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know the details of the situation. I don't know what all went on. When this was... Because I know there was a time when Wubs was a little spitfire and was a shit and made mistakes. Because she was stupid. But I don't know. Uh, My Little Pony Gem 5 is... It's... What? Well, we don't have any clarification if it's the last generation. I highly doubt if it makes money. I mean, considering... My Little Pony has been going since 1983 or 2, one of the two. Yeah, I don't think it's dying anytime soon. Excuse me. Okay. I gotta get off soon. Sawtooth Waves, I've heard of them. I've seen a I've seen a few things. He does like anal like uh what's not not analyst not like an analyst stuff. He does theories 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 on why things got the way they did in G five. <laughs> if I'm thinking of the same guy. She's still stupid considering she banned me from her Discord server and didn't even tell me why I was banned. <sighs> Maybe. If I can. No, I haven't been paying too attention to any G5 like theory stuff. I didn't want to get spoiled in any way until I was all caught up. Plus. Okay, hot take here. I find the whole, like, G5 hate really unfair. Because here's the problem. People are asking questions about things that aren't solved like in the first thing. People, it's supposed to be a series. It's supposed to be a show. They're not going to explain how the world got it the way it did. If they did that, there would be no content whatsoever to go off of. Seriously. Same thing in the in the whole idea of why people didn't like Make Your Mark. Sure, it didn't explain much, but who fucking cares? They've got to have additional shit for the episodes coming out in September. It's like if G4 started and told us the entire story of how Twilight became a freaking ruler of the Equestria. There'd be nothing. I don't get why people are so judgmental. Well, then again, no, I don't. That's this fucking world anymore. I appreciate the subscription. Uh, and I will get to your friend request here in just a second. Maybe, if I can get my phone to start on me. Oh, okay. So... God, oh, Discord is weird. So, the whole, the whole idea that people are bitching about certain things about G5 that don't make sense, give it time. It just barely fucking started. Give it time. Give it time. <laughs> Let it blossom, just like G4 did. But G4 and G5 are two totally different pieces of a puzzle. Because, well, G4 started out as an episode series. Like, it started out in episodes, just a straight series. G5 has movies. It starts out as a full-fledged movie, then a, then a small little mini-series, then a short. And now we're going to go into the series, hopefully this September. Do I know where it's going? No, I don't. But it's a very mature topic that this is going around. I mean, we're talking about things like racism, plagiarism, not plagiarism, uh, what's the word, uh, prejudice... 
uh, world building and just all together a lot of things to do with like world cultures. This is a very adult topic to talk about because or to, to be based around because the way I see this going is that basically they're going to try to do their best to like unite the world together like Twilight did kind of sort of the main six did my bad because at the end of G4 you see that the dragons and the ponies are you know peace, at peace you know the griffins and the ponies are at peace all species are you know at peace with one another then something happens that stopped that but it's like another freaking thing that I said chaos Chaos and harmony are two things that are eventually going to collide. Peace doesn't last forever. Happiness doesn't last forever. It's going to eventually fall off, and then chaos is going to take over. It's just the natural order of things. Peace can't last forever. Order can't last forever. So eventually, chaos is going to show up again and take over. Disorder, you know, is going to happen. It's going to happen. It's just how things work. That's how pony human nature works. So, yeah. People are ju jumping the gun way too quick. It's like this new villain that's spoiled in... Or not spoiled. Uh, like, uh, what's the word? Uh, shown in, uh, in Make Your Mark. We know nothing about this thing except it wanted the magic back. And that it's female. And that it's an alicorn. So, we have our bases loaded here. Now, can we hit the home run? Can we hit the home run with the series? Can this series expand this whole thing and make this whole build-up work? I guarantee they can. Hasbro's been doing this for a long time. And they've got a lot of talented writers on board, a lot of talented artists. You know, they don't just hire rookies. It's people that are professionals and know what the, they're doing are there. I love how Twilight is afraid of ladybugs. It makes no sense, though. It doesn't make literally any sense. Because there's one episode where, I guess, a ladybug or something flies by her and she's, like, all happy about it. She's not even phased. Hell, in one episode, she becomes a freaking breezy, which is kind of like a bug. I'm just like... Inconsistencies with writing. This can happen with new writers. They just haven't seen the whole thing and mess up something. Oops. It happens, but yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get off now because it's 11 o'clock. I need to get my pills in me. I need to get my medicine and all that shit in me. I need to get going. I got to go to bed. So I might get back to this tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, thank you for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys next time. Happy horror.